Hello, my name is Paolo Lofai, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to instrument JaxRS application using Open Tracing API. In this demo, we are going to use Wildfly Swarm. So let's generate simple app. Let's call it demo open tracing. And all we have to do is to choose JaxRS dependency. Hit generate button and unzip the project. Now open IDE. So we can see there is only one REST endpoint. At this point, the app is not instrumented. As I said at the beginning, we are going to use Open Tracing API. Open Tracing is just an API, but we also provide different framework integrations. So let's choose JaxRS. Choose the last one and add it to the dependencies. Open tracing is just an API, and we can choose different implementations. In this demo, we are going to use Jaeger project. Jaeger provides different client libraries. We are using Java, so choose Java client and also add the dependency to the class path. Use the light, latest version. Okay, so now we have added Open Tracing instrumentation to the app and also Open Tracing Tracer implementation. Now we have to register this tracer to the instrumentation. And to do that, we have to call global tracer register method. The best thing to do that is to create servlet context listener. So in this method, we are going to use all global tracer register and register tracer instance. So this method creates Jaeger tracer and Jaeger tracer with the name Wildfly Swarm and some configuration properties. So let's register this tracer to the global tracer. So it's there. Uh, now we can, we can run the app and we will see traces coming into the tracing system. So let's start Jaeger server. And start Wildfly Swarm. Okay, Jaeger is up and running. The swarm as well. Let's generate some requests. And we can see we get some requests from the swarm app. So now we can jump into the tracer UI and we can see there is one trace. This spam represents server processing and there is data like HTTP status code, 
HTTP URL and HTTP method. Okay, so, but this is not everything we would like to do. Usually there is also some business logic, which is important to trace as well. So let's create a class representing some business logic. Let's call it backend service. And this backend service will have one method returning string and let's call it action. In this method, we are going to wait for a random period of time. And let's say the upper bound is two seconds. And let's return. Let's return this random value. And we would like to trace this method, right? So, and to do that, we have to have access to the trace to the tracer instance. So, let's create a field for that. Now we can create a spam representing this method invocation. So let's call tracer build spam and provide operation name. In this case, we can use the method name and call start active. Active spam implements tribe resources. So we can use that to automatically close the spam. So this looks pretty nice. But often there are mod more methods we would like to we would like to trace or in some methods we would like to add some tracing data to the active span. So let's create a private method called action2. And in this method we would like to add some data to the current active span. To do that, we don't have to have access or we don't have to pass the active span manually. We can get the access, the active span from the tracer instance. So let's call tracer and let's get the active span and add some data. Let's say the key is action two and the value is just random data. And this method is called from here, right? Okay, so we see the tracer and now we have to initialize this tracer. This is Java, so we are going to use CDI. So we have to add, a, add CDI to the class path. In Java EE CDI app, should should contain beans XML defined in resources meta inf.
Okay, now we can inject the tracer. We are injecting the tracer, but we are not creating bean, this bean anywhere. So we have to do that. Let's use this method and annotate it with produce. And the tracer should be a singleton bean shared, only one singleton shared across this process. So let's annotate it with singleton. Okay, and JAX-RS instrumentation is using the tracer which is registered in the global tracer. So we have to register the same instance. So let's inject the tracer also here. As you can see, we are creating Jaeger Tracer, but here we are injecting only Open Tracing API. So to change tracing system is very simple. We can just create another producer which will produce different tracer instance. So this looks pretty good. We can try to restart, compile and restart the app. It compiles. Okay, so let's go back to the to the rest endpoint. Let's inject the backend service. And let's call action method. And let's add action to the response. Restart again. So it looks good. Wildfly Swarm is up and running. Let's generate some requests. And we can see, see the result from the backend service. Let's go to, to the Jaeger UI. And we can see there are two spams. Before, there was only one spam. So let's look, for example, at at this trace and here we can see the the spam representing rest endpoint here is the rest endpoint name and here is the business spam name we can also see there are there is some data which we added in the action to method so this was everything what i wanted to show you today Thank you for watching.